In the last few years, high definition sensors have become available, as you see on your cell phones and, and your um, digital cameras. However, to link multiple high definition cameras together, in particular through a, a digital network, is very challenging. High definition video always generates massive amounts of data. And so the challenge isn't just to compress it down, because all that does is strip away the content or the, the integrity of the information. And really, that's one of the key pieces that Pixel is brought to the table is we figured out how to make it practical to take multiple high definition cameras and completely blanket the area so you cover everything all the time and we're able to stitch these cameras together to create one contiguous panoramic scene therefore it's possible for a single operator to watch very large environments when they see something of detail they can reach into the detail and acquire a very high definition zoomed in region of interest. This product applies very well in airports, in maritime space, large critical infrastructures. And so we have installations today in places like Chicago O'Hare Airport, University of Michigan Stadium, and Port of Long Beach. So we have a, a second area that we've applied the technology to in the medical imaging space, and that's using the same types of techniques on a cardiac ultrasound system that allows a physician to image into somebody's chest without cutting them open, the mechanical dynamics or properties of the heart. So it can tell whether or not somebody's heart tissue is squeezing or relaxing properly. It requires us to have very fast moving images because the heart is moving in real time very quickly. Therefore, you generate large volumes of complex data that need to be analyzed in real time and reduced to the meaningful part, which makes it very similar to what we're doing in the security surveillance area. Instead of a security officer making a decision about how to respond to an incident, in this case it's a cardiologist deciding what therapy to apply or whether or not a therapy is taking effect properly. Not a lot of people know this about Ann Arbor, but Ann Arbor is one of the image processing centers in the country and has been for many years. Over 50 years ago, after World War II, the University of Michigan set up what was called the Willow Run Labs in Ann Arbor, which eventually became IRM, or the Environmental Research Institute of Michigan. And that was a center of excellence on a global level in image processing and image sciences. That particular entity has indirectly created well over 35 companies in the area. And there's a lot of talent in this area that we're, we're able to harvest really take advantage of.